how how the matchup is for many ditties, but still good stuff to color, dude. He, uh, him and him and him and Tornado Today too are put on quite the show mm-hmm. thus far. Yeah. I have a feeling we're gonna see more of a tornado turn. Are we just gonna go right to winners finals, I guess? See versus Nuru. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think uh, I think Warchief is talking, but I couldn't tell. But yeah, I think we might just go into, right into winners finals and then maybe possibly get our break before we get to the other side of the bracket. So oh, we got uh, Inkling or Yoshi, right? Versus J. Cole. Yeah. Mm. Both of those matchups seem hard for Diddy Kong. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you too because it's like, really difficult to tell. I think like Diddy, Diddy still has like really. I think the one problem that Diddy has in this game is Diddy is still pretty good, but the problem is where he's really good. The rest of the cast has moved on to basically the ultimate versions of themselves, and Diddy is very much still the Smash Four version of himself with some like. The small nerfs, I would say. Mm, yeah, I think he's still a really good character. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Both Yoshi and um, and Inkling are really hard for D to hit. I think. A lot of color fanboys in the Twitch chat right now. I was gonna say, man, this guy Twitch chat is probably he probably he might be streaming some color. I wouldn't even see him play videos. But I mean, good stuff. It's the first time I've seen like a Diddy kind of come out to like an MSM and do like as impressive as colors are doing. Hey, where where's color from? Uh, chat. Chat knows everything. Chat knows all, sees all. Oh, from LA apparently. Oh, so kind of player. All right, so Color has to defend MSM from the invaders. The pressure is on now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is on. He's like, yo, man, I just took a loss. Now you're telling me I have to defend? All right, hold on. He just doesn't go to big events much. Okay. Oh. Should, uh, should go to more tournaments. We need more ditties. Uh, SoCal. Yeah, we do need more ditties. We don't even have any much ditties. Uh, Charles Carlos, he actually says from Southgate, I believe, also saw so LA. Yeah. LA is a pretty stepped region as it's kind of coming to like full form now. A little bit. Like, uh, when, we, when Ultima first oh, came he's out. Dead. Oh, What's yeah, happening? He's dead. <laughs> I, turned, I turned and I missed it. He just got, he just didn't recover, I was just about that. Yeah, the Los Angeles area when Ultimate came out was very much like, almost unknown. Like, it was really difficult to judge like their strength because a lot of players like, it was difficult to like dictate what is Los Angeles area, but we've seen players like Suga, uh, Kyro who I've talked about, Marvelous Marco, uh, Voladin, and like they've pretty much made up most of what it is in the Los Angeles area, alongside now Cutler. So, I mean, Los Angeles is also like a very stacked region. Sub region of SoCal. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of good players here. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of going how I thought it would go. It's, it's very difficult for uh, Color to get any like substantial follow up that can lead to kills. Yeah. Because of how tricky uh, England's dash is. Oh man, nice tech chase on that, the back, back here into the down smash. Yeah, oh, Inkling's dash can be like really difficult to deal with. Uh, yeah, it honestly feels like Inkling has a very similar game plan to Dayfong, but does it better. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I feel like both characters are a little bit similar, or, like, have good running speed, have a solid trap game, or just do a material that, that deals with a lot. The side special is like a move that can cut back. But, yeah, you're right, Inkling does do it a little bit better than Diddy does. 
I just had a down row forward air because it sent him in that weird angle, like lower diagonal angle, so where if he got, got hit and he didn't have a jump, he probably just would have died. Yeah. But, Burr's playing very well right here. And he's even using the uh, platforms in uh, his favor really well, too. Nice. Yeah, he knows how to avoid the banana as well. He's just making it, like, he's making it very difficult for Cody to get a lot of really hard punches. Nice. And mash out with the back air as well. Oh man, you gotta watch where you're going, dude. He's using these platforms so smart. There's <laughs> yeah. And no free barrels here. Oh man, not gonna block with good mash out. He doesn't have any ink left. Okay, Kunle yeah. Look, he's Kunle looking for something here. He sees him at the platform. Takes the time for a forward and Can he get the stock here? In the middle of that setup at the ledge, he got hit from it too. Oh, oh and he tried right. to pull back. Oh, what a mash, bro. Dang, he mashed out of that one thing. But bad trade. Yeah, no mash can save you from that trade there. And unfortunately, Cutler will lose game one here. Win. But yeah. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff first. Um, no, I think it's gonna be very hard for cover. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first encounter is pretty much hopefully gonna give cover some time to like assess them. Like, okay, how should I be, how should I be handling, you know, stage choices and this matchup for the rest of, you know, what is left of this game? First with the first one on the board. He's still got two more games to work with, potentially four. If he, you know, if he gets, if he takes a loss or get a few W's, so we'll see. It's mainly, it's mainly like he has to force first to make more mistakes to get like substantial punishes. And that can be yeah. hard just because Inkling can play so safe. Yeah, Inkling has the speed, the, the low profile. I mean, he's he's very much. I mean, burst as the tag goes, he's very much a burst character. And maybe it just starts with this though, like, you know, get a decent lead, you know, force burst to like approach in some unsafe scenarios, getting, you know, punish him from there. Yeah. Find opportunities where you can punish burst for options, but also trying to get as much as a lead as possible. I think it's still good that Cole, like, knows I have to play his banana down and then go for it as a follow up tool. That was a really good opportunity that he got two trips. Uh, leading for the small corner carry up against Burst, but he didn't have the speed or the time to try to like get that forwarder before Burst did. Up there? Oh no, nice forwarder though. And then he grabbed him before he could make use of that banana too. Nice double dab? Oh, ah, oh, it's too slow. He yeah, that's... they were pretty good, but he couldn't get a follow up, so it's weird. I feel like this move was good too from Color. He was looking there with Punish Burst after the roller. So like slowly like putting in those plans into action is gonna be really good to stop burst from getting comfortable from going to things like those opportunities he's been going with roller. Banana is uh, also a part of the food. Oh, there goes the barrels again. Whenever a color hits the barrel, he gets like his booster. <laughs> I'm trying to see him hit them. Oh nice trip, yeah. That'll be yep. the first stock. Stock lady. Every <laughs> I feel like every time I see color go for barrels. I'm like, there goes that dang Diddy Kong with them barrels. It shouldn't be, it feels like it shouldn't be working so well. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh but that's in the right Oh my god, we'll take it. It's I mean, so dead there. That, that's just goes to show, like, what's going to be Colors MVP. The, the rest of the set is going to be Banana because every time he's been making approaches on first, it's always a Banana in hand to try to like, find an option to get in. Clutch back here there to catch him out of the double jump from the monkey flip. 22, not even that. Like, oh, wait, hold on, no rejab. Oh, he messed up. I'm gonna do that thing that all Inklings do where they just jump from ledge and do the neutral beat because, like, they're just locked in shield to try to block it. Yeah. He didn't go into the stage, and then Color's like, okay, thanks for the free punish. Now, now, <laughs> now, uh, now Burst is gonna have to, like, really play in a way that's super, uh, no, he has to he has to go in now. He has some decent approach options, but like Diddy can destroy him for messing up and that, you can see it happening right now, honestly. So, 
And a pull. Rip. Into the edge. Trash up the ledge. Yeah, he's out of here. Color with Who's the game. Tough. Finally, the game here. Nice. Nice way to come back. Color. So, yeah, I guess all it took was for him to get a decent lead and first burst to, like, yep. start actually, like, you know, approaching. And that, man, that re-grab, though, that pretty much still burst fate there. I think, but I think that was what you were right, like, in the matchup is how Kalrish should treat it is get a lead, find a lead, hold a lead, and then play from that on. Because if he didn't do that, then, like, it would have been really tough for him to, like, find other options. But also, like I mentioned, it's the fact that, like, Cutler is going on the banana, and then slowly he was finding that small, comfortable space to go for things like barrels to burst in. So I think as when it's like forming Cutler's game plan is get the lead as fast as possible, use banana for an approach because it's going to cover my options as an approach, but also as a backup. And then when I'm away from the battle, burst in with barrels if I can. And it's not supposed to work, but hey, man, for Cutler, this seems to be, a, you know, how it's working. Yeah. For Three, two, Yoshi's one, coming out now. Go! saying all right you, you be my in one game it's it's time to switch to a new character let's see let's see how the yoshi does let's see um, i feel i feel like it does like yoshi in this matchup compared to four it's it's difficult to oh. see oh yo oh, oh okay. he messed up <laughs> i'm like oh man this is why i want to take D this stage he was scheming, bro. He was scheming. A little bit off on the timing there, so he was able to get, you know, get up attack. Although, uh, that got to shake your opponent a little bit. Like, oh my god, this guy knows. He's not scared to go for anything on me. Oh my it was god. still good, but like I mentioned earlier, like, it's still good for him to go for the pyramid scheme. Because even if he doesn't finish it, the lead and the percentage that you can get from it is still relatively good. Yeah, he already did a lot of percent anyway. Yeah, like, look at this. 41 to 126. You know, I know there's a scenario too where it's a matchup that's really hard for the D when he's the one that's forced to approach, but when like, you know, Yoshi's the one that has to go in, you can punish him a lot more. Yeah. He, he can be really hard to hit, as did Kong. Oh! Oh man, he wanted to get that banana combo portion to look it off. Nice. And I'm glad Color recognizes how to deal with Yoshi's double jump. So sort of like lets him get away with a lot of stuff. Uh, it'll match us for free because people aren't sure how to deal with that. Uh, yeah, right now, man, Color knows what he's doing in this matchup already. It's very impressive. Going for the infinite yet again. Oh, yep. And uh, here's two, two uh, are on the platform. So yeah. even if he didn't get, you know, the full stock for that, that's really good percent. Yeah, 25%. There's the down people. Oh, no. yeah. 25 down be, still really good. Down B uh, was going to kill there even earlier just because he's on the platform. Uh, I'm bad. I'm bad for burst, I mean, because he's, uh... Well, Color just feels really comfortable in this match, it seems. Yeah. Very good mash as well to get out of the egg fast enough, because if you're strapping the egg and he, uh, does the downer on you, it's like almost 40% or something crazy. It's, it's stupid. Okay. It's a back out of shield. Color. Oh, really bad monkey flip. It's gonna lead to him getting juggled. Okay, did he save his jump? No, but he does get a really good angle. I do not uh, like that banana pull there. Yeah, I did not like it at all. I see why he did it. Because he wanted the banana to hit burst. Of course, it's gonna shield, which just forced him to probably hit him in general. But that was way too risky. Letting go of the ledge like that. Uh, burst definitely could have killed him in that situation. Alright, burst though, he's starting to throw out these, ups, these smash attacks in a crazy way. I don't know. He might be desperate for the kill. At this point though, like, I wouldn't even try to- Oh, nice. Okay, they have their hitbox. It's great. Uh, yeah. At this point, I would have reason to force the kill. This is, like, the best position he's been in to, like, a lead in the first place, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you're trying to force the kill, you're sacrificing a lot. Nice. Opportunity. Oh, no, he misses up there. Oh. My color is the one that has to, you know, go in right now because I'm so still a really good position for a burst dude. Yeah, I mean, and like that burst is slowly turning things around. He's now with the slot lead. We saw color with the leader originally. Yeah. Looked really bad for burst at the start of this, but we're seeing nice. smash. Yeah, that'll yeah, do he it. He charged it up just enough. Yeah, 
being kind of heavy too, so that slight charge might have been what you need to kill from center stage. Alright, going back and forth here. Uh, Miller trying to find an opening. There it is again, the color classic barrels. Doing 22%. Punish here. Yeah, he's gonna go for the dash attack. Out of shield to the up air. Oh man, he's getting all these dash attacks. So much percent. Gonna go for the infinite yet again for the third time this match. Yep, and that's oh. even though he messes it up. Look at the lead that he gets. Right, it's part yeah, of the Wi-Fi, but much percent. Yeah, that's where that's where I think he just understands. Like, okay, it's difficult to do on Wi-Fi. Fine, but the percent leads turning things to my favor against Burst. Oh, oh, he tried man. to get the match on. He tried to time it with Yeah, him. yeah, that was. Oh my. Oh my god, that really just happened. The robbery. The he's robbery. Just, guy doesn't care, man. It doesn't matter who he's playing. He's gonna rush it. Rush you with those barrels, dude. I'm just, damn. This man committed a highway robbery. Damn. I believe he did that. <laughs> Take it, though. Color one game away from being in Winside Grants. Yep. Color looking to defend SoCal, the wife online Wi-Fi <laughs> in this case. And I can't believe like I don't think he's gotten punished for using those barrels a single time that I've watched him play on the stream. <laughs> we'll take it though. Stage, what stage, uh, what stage are you gonna go in for first? Probably, if I were, if I were burst, probably like. Keep the stage small so that color doesn't have enough space to run around. I mean, but we've been seeing that with Smashville and look at how it's going. So maybe a bigger stage to like kind of avoid Cutler a little bit and like get some whiff punishes for a Cutler's overextension is probably warranted. I mean, yeah, I, I was definitely gonna say like Town and City is definitely one of those stages where he might need it the space. Yeah, yeah for sure. I the reason why it. I was I was gonna say like, maybe Kalos, but Kalos is too big, and then you do give Diddy, like, the wall jump, but you don't want to give Diddy a wall jump. Yeah. I think this is a good stage. Even though we haven't really seen Burst play, like, super defensive, you know, I like zone out Diddy Kong, but this is pretty good. Just because Yoshi has such good mobility, especially with the platforms, it's kind of hard to hit him. Yeah. Like, there, like, those, are. Uh, he flips from like full screen. Very risky. If Perez is like holding his feet on the ground and just sees him go for that, he can super easily up smash it. Oh, okay. And then far off stage? Nope, no egg snipe, unfortunately, for butt first. For yeah, again, I... Using those barrels at the same stage. And that was still good from Color too. Like, he goes for a full cross at this time just because he like wants to avoid getting punished afterwards. And you kind of kind of see that coming out from Burst. Like, he, he was in shield for a reason. He wanted to see if he could go for another shield option for against Cutler after the mm -hmm. barrels. Yeah, sure. If this using the game... platforms to extend uh, where he throws his egg, he's an upbeat, the uh, egg toss. Oh, nice catch on the jump. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, the distance game seems to be playing really, really well for Burns. Like, having that distance to force Cutler to, like, move around a lot more and come in closer and then go to finish him afterwards. So it's coming out really good for Burst. Yeah. This is, uh, he's really using air, uh, Yoshi's air one really to the fullest on this stage. Honestly. This is uh, exactly what you want to do with the lead. Oh man, oh. no, I missed the up smash. Until up smash, not really looking at gonna Get out, dude, though, nice. I think, did he get the trip or did he just like catch him out of dropping shield? It, it, like. came, it came out too fast, but I like couldn't really see. I blinked I think he caught him dropping shield from uh, killing the banana. Yeah. Okay, only took 33. That's actually pretty good for uh, for color. Yeah, 
46 percent oh he that was good he looking to set himself for whiff punish but i can't believe yoshi did not have enough hits done to actually get hit by the second up tilt because he just hit him with mana as soon as possible oh man this is looking kind of rough right now because he's gonna have to make something happen here yeah nice hold on shield no forward tilt that was a really good opportunity to go for it but lost a good empty hop but he gets caught there nice roll avoiding i can't it. believe his I can't believe he rolled through the down smash. Like, he was charging it, like, he knew he was gonna roll in there, and, like, both hits missed. Kind of <laughs> rough. Big, nice, nice. fair strings. Uh oh. Oh, good one. Everyone here. A little bit of pressure here. He's yeah, he needs to get off that platform. Let's smash that shield. Still gonna be enough to kill. Yeah, he needed to do something to get back to center state. But he was definitely applying that pressure. Okay. Banana, but you gotta watch out for those eggs. Another barrels. Yeah, if, if Burst had held shield or looked the space away from Cumber, that was good. That was good. Not yeah, a shield punish. Just looked some space away from Cumber. He would have had the right punish, but nonetheless, forward air finally taken from almost across the stage. Nice. Not it's too the far behind, though. Not too far behind, but I want to say, like, you always have to respect Yoshi in certain uh, situations here. Because once Yoshi gets an aerial, he can carry that aerial almost across the stage. And he can do some big damage. I mean, 42%. Nice. So smash. His mash out of, uh, like, out of these, like, you know, the egg toss or, like, the, the berry from the, the roller like, has been very impressive. Yeah. Allowing him to get, uh,. Think of follow-ups where, where the person thinks they're gonna get like a harder punch from him being like vulnerable for a second, that gets out of there. Yeah, I don't know. Like, oh, no, no. Oh, oh, no. I don't know. I'm not even gonna say that was unintentional, too, because he's been going for like banana trip into barrels a lot. He, he didn't angle it correctly, so. <laughs> Sucks. I feel like he had, he's had enough momentum to make the comeback happen. If you did the correct barrel there, that does like 20 plus percent. So you actually could have even up the percentage. Okay. But if you're burst, we take those, you know. Already in winners finals, going through this dragon the whole night, you know. Taking the easy W. Free W you can take at this point. Well, I think it's bad though when USD and your opponent just taunts you, you know, like not a good feel. But I think I think that just goes to show like Cutler just can't feel comfortable going for those options all the time because he has been doing it quite a lot like since last game, and it, it is kind of like come to be his own bread and butter. But against Burst, that's a whole different beast than it was against Cutler in the security too. Yeah, the thing is though, like against some barrels is actually good. Like it's, it's supposed to be guaranteed damage, but he just messed up the angle on his up B. Yeah. Either him or there, though. We're on Battlefield for the final game of the set. I imagine it's because, you know, it's yet another stage where, where Diddy can do the infinite. Yeah. And it, it's a... Uh, the horizontal blast is a little bit farther out, so he can live a little longer off the side. A yeah. double-edged sword, though, so can Yoshi, even though know, Yoshi's a little bit heavier, but let's see. Oh, good, and good now, oh, 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 he dropped no, it. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, he dropped it, but that was still good, 85% to 91, and gets the forward smash, no charge, though. Yeah, so hugely for a color right here. Oh my god, he's not in burst land for free at all. He's the roll away with the another O smash, yeah, this is, this is all color right now. Just gotta make something happen. This is a rough, this is rough for Yoshi, I feel, because now he's like forced to approach, and Yoshi just doesn't have, his approach actions are very linear, if you're far yeah. enough away from him from the stage. Is he a Decent percent? Oh, oh nice, nice percent in. Good percent for you. That was good from cover though, but I feel like you should just tech, tech normally, because he was really scared of being called up by Yoshi. Like I said, once, there are times when Yoshi can just make a comeback, because his aerials could just follow up to one another and hit you like a truck, especially that tail. But good stuff to color fine taking the stock 88% here. Uh, looking to finally get some spacing a little bit with those peanuts, and I like the play here. Keep burst away as much as possible. Yeah, uh, he's just like not afraid to just camp out Yoshi. Oh, oh. damn one? 
Oh, we live in Battlefield to the rescue and some good DI from Carlos. Oh, bad barrels, bro, yeah. At that point, I would have just angled them down to, like, get the crash, but probably not have been uh, too right to do that. Hello? Yeah. Oh. Chow, don't hang on this platform too long. I, I think know. that's what we're really good from Burst, too, is, like, he's looking to just consistently try to punish Color for going for barrels. So I think Color's gonna have to, like, slowly lay off that a little bit the way he's used to. Mm -hmm. Oh, he fell out of the dash item. That's unfortunate for color, but there's a second opportunity. Dash I can't afford it yet. It's a uh, low percentage one of Day's best moves to get follow ups because it just follows into pretty much all his aerials. Nice. He doesn't risk a grab out of that situation. Just goes for a banana toss. Pretty safe play here. Yeah, they're both playing really safe. At this point. Yeah, I mean, 6% separating the two men, Cutler and Burst, do not want to give up too much to change that deficit. Oh, nice. Nice. Good whip punish. Uh, he didn't crash on the ground either, so like he wouldn't have even. Uh, oh, okay. damn! So far to get that four-year spike. And only fifty-seven percent. That's huge. Yeah, that has, it has turned into such a big lead. Uh, it, and first, if he wants, he can just like camp these platforms out, like make it, make it so that color has to like run at him and like waste a double jump to get a hit. Oh no. I don't get the trip follow-up either. Burst is gonna take that all the way to the bank, carrying him all the way to the top of the stage with these aerials. This is rough. Yeah, this is this is rough for color right here. Go for the down throw. Oh, he got it again! Up the DI in and then read the double jump with the down there. Putting himself alive in this just long enough. He still has a huge a huge comeback to make though. And the fact that like Burst knows I hit this man with any tail move and Cutler is out of here, or a nair off the left off the side, so Cutler has to be really careful with how he approaches, because he could get with punish and just get killed for it. Yeah, you can see, just the way that Burst is just rushing him down with all these kill moves, like, he, he wants the game to be over. We're going to sleep on uh, Cutler, though. I, any opportunity he takes, he can bring it back for hard. That was close, that was close. Yeah, you can't get old, oh, dang, there it is, though. Up here. Caught the kind of rogue money flip and cover. Uh, yeah, it wasn't completely for Burst to win that last game. I, I feel Color was bringing that comeback back there at the end. Yeah, it's slowly working up. Nonetheless, though, I'm really saddened, but that's still good stuff to Burst. Like, he adapted to Color's game plan. Like I mentioned, he was so comfortable against Tornado 92, like, finding these options with 